Sawker from Sawky Ticket. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the MacBook Air 2020 M1 versus the MacBook Pro 2020 M1. So both of these guys have Apple's latest in-house M1 processor. The MacBook Air M1 starts at $1,000. The MacBook Pro M1 2020, the 13 inch model, starts at $1,300. So there is a $300 price difference between the two. But here's what people are trying to understand. Now, both of these guys have the M1 processor. Is it the same exact M1 processor on the Air and on the uh, Pro? And if so, why would I get the Pro and pay extra $300 when I can get the same exact performance on the cheaper MacBook Air M1. Now here's the deal, there's actually some differences, so don't make the mistake until you are fully acquainted with all the exact facts. In this video, we'll do a full comparison. I'll let you know exactly what you're getting on the Pro over the Air in relation to the M1 models and which one you should get. So let's dive in and get started right away. Okay, so first and foremost, both of these laptops have the same exact screen size. It's 13.3 inches. You've got the same exact technology and resolution, but there's one tiny difference. The MacBook Pro is actually 20% brighter than the MacBook Air M1. So the MacBook Air has 400 nits of brightness, maximum brightness, while the MacBook Pro 13 inch model, the M1 model has 500 nits of maximum brightness. So if you're looking for a uh, the brightest possible screen, you want to make sure you go with the MacBook Pro. But let's move on and talk about the actual M1 processor. That's what most people are uh, actually wondering. What's the difference between the M1 chips? Now here, you are going to be very careful. First and foremost, the MacBook Pro actually has a physical fan in the chassis. The MacBook Air is a fanless design. There's no fan in the MacBook Air. What does that mean in terms of performance? What that means is when you have a fan in a PC, it is able to cool the PC better and sustain peak performance better than a fanless PC. So even though both of these MacBooks, the Air and the Pro, are going to give you the same exact processing performance, because the MacBook Pro has a built-in fan, it is going to be able to sustain peak performance longer than the MacBook Air. That's difference number one. Another very important difference is if you buy the entry-level MacBook Air, the M1 processor is actually downgraded by a tiny bit. So the base MacBook Air M1 is $1,000. The next level MacBook Air M1 is $1,250. The M1 processor you get with the base model has an 8-core CPU, but only a 7-core GPU, which is the graphics unit, which is for graphics performance and processing. But when you get the MacBook Air, the $1,250 version, then you're getting the same M1 processor you get on the Pro. It has 8 cores for the CPU and 8 cores for the actual GPU for graphics and of course the MacBook Pro the base model comes with the 8 core and 8 core right off the bat so those are the two huge differences in performance if you if you buy the MacBook Air base model you are getting one less core on the GPU side on the graphics side and no matter which MacBook Air you buy you're not gonna get any fans in the actual body but when you get the MacBook Pro it's got the top end M1 and also it's got the built-in fan to sustain peak performance for longer, uh, especially if you're editing some movies or something like that. So that answers the question when it comes to the actual M1 processor. Now let's move on and talk about some of the other things. There is a lot of similarities here. Uh, both of them can have up to 16 gigabytes of RAM if you want to uh, configure it that way. Both of them can have up to two terabytes of solid state drive space, if that's what you want. But again, the MacBook Pro is slightly larger, so it has a slightly larger battery. It actually lasts up to 20 hours, while the MacBook Air lasts up to 18 hours. In my opinion, that's not a big deal. And then we have some of the obvious differences. 
The MacBook Pro has the Touch Bar and the Touch ID, but the MacBook Air only has the Touch ID. You're not getting a Touch Bar. Now, we're going to talk about the display. Same exact display size, the overall quality and technology, and the color accuracy and representation of both of these laptops is the same. But like I said, MacBook Air M1 has 400 nits of peak brightness, while the MacBook Pro M1 has 500 nits of peak brightness. They got the same exact camera on the front. You've got the 720p Face ID HD camera. I'm not sure why they're not upgrading these cameras to at least 1080p, but they're both the same, 720, 720. Now, one more difference is the audio, the speakers, okay? The speakers on the MacBook Pro are going to be slightly better than the MacBook Air. I'm talking about the M1 models. The MacBook Pro actually has stereo speakers with high dynamic range. The MacBook Air only has stereo speakers, no high dynamic range. When it comes to microphones that's built into these laptops, the MacBook Pro is going to have a better microphone. It is a studio quality microphone on the MacBook Pro. On the MacBook Air, it is still a great microphone, but it's not the studio quality microphone. And of course, both laptops have 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. When you buy either one of these guys, you get the laptop and of course the charger. They both support Wi-Fi 6 speed, so they're equally fast when it comes to network speeds. And of course, they have the same exact ports, two Thunderbolt slash USB 4 ports. And that's basically it, okay? Just one more thing, when you buy these, uh, the, the power adapter that you get with the MacBook Pro is a 61 watt adapter, and the power adapter you get with the Air is a 30 watt adapter, so you'll get slightly faster charging on the actual MacBook Pro, just because the adapter has higher wattage. And that's it, that's all you gotta know about these two products, MacBook Air M1 2020 versus MacBook Pro 13 inch model, M1 2020, the biggest difference, when you buy the base MacBook Air, you're getting a, a slight downgrade on the M1 processor and you get no fan. So if you're looking for sustained peak performance, maybe you're editing videos or doing some 3D uh, job, you might wanna go with the Pro. If you're a student, casual user, just want a great laptop for on the go purposes, MacBook Air is the way to go. Now, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right.